Hey friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine. It's Monday night, and you know what Monday night is. That means we are going to create something. Hope it's gonna turn out cute. I haven't done a dry run. If you are um, are watching replay, just do hashtag replay to let me know you were here. Um, I hope you like this video and you enjoy what I create. Hey Tina, and I'm gonna speak to my friends. So if you wanna fast forward through that part, you can. Hey Tina and Leslie, yay! We're gonna create something fun. I hope y'all like what I've put together. I have not actually tried it, <laughs> but we're gonna give it a go. It's kind of in my mind and I've seen a few people do it, especially in the group. I've seen uh, here lately, a few people do it and I'm like, oh, it's on my list. I wanna do it, so tonight's tonight. Um, hey, Rhonda and Marjorie and hey, BJ and Tammy and Diane and Janet. All my friends are in the house. <coughs> we're gonna do a little bit of Easter recycling, but it's not an Easter craft. So, um, so if you have some stuff left over from Easter, that's what I'm going to use. Hey, Phyllis. Hey, Gail. And I meant to actually do this before, you know, Easter passed. And so, but it's not an Easter craft, but I meant to do it beforehand. And, uh, it just never came about because of everything that I've had going on. So it never um, did it. Hey, Peggy. Uh, Peggy, I, I, thank you, but I actually took a little nap earlier because running all around town like I had to do today, uh, well, I didn't have to do some of it, but, you know, it was a little therapy. But <laughs> um, I, um, it, I was just tired when I came home, and I took a little na a little smallish nap on the couch. So, um, but yes, I'm feeling better. Of course, you know, the medicine that I take and stuff for my nerves is... I don't know. Um, I'm getting off of that medicine and, um, I don't know if it's causing, I kind of get, at times I get achy feeling and I don't know if maybe I'm fighting off a little bug or something. I don't know, like the last few days and I just have to take some Tylenol and or Advil I get, and I feel better. Hey, Patty, You've been watching dot painting. Well, good. It's fun. It's fun to watch that. Um, but my little thing's coming up soon. I'm planning it. I'm getting some, I'm getting it all planned together. Hey, Pam. Hey, Mildred and Debbie. It's so good y'all are here. Sorry if I missed some of your comments. Um, okay, so let me show y'all what we're going to use tonight. And, of course, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. But I'm going to do it a couple of different ways so that if you don't have to have what i use you can use a few different other options oh gosh it snowed in michigan <laughs> i know when i asked everybody do you want spring crafts are you ready for summer and people were like oh and we want spring crafts it's still snowing here and i'm like oh my gosh it's still snowing. <laughs> it's crazy i could not deal with it thank you lou y'all are so sweet um i didn't look good a few minutes ago because i've been on the couch trying to take took a nap <laughs> and so i had to go fix my hair and all this kind of stuff Oh, thank you, Susan. You're so sweet to do that. And don't forget to go vote. Um, I think it Thursday is when they pick the next round of people. And I'm, I went to second place today. I was like, oh, no. So, um, oh, darling, has got sinus stuff going on. Goodness. I'm good, Regina. Thank you. Hey, Tanya. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm trying to see where I'm going to start. So, this is what my idea was to start with, okay? So if y'all have these in your stash from Easter, so we're gonna use this, but it's not gonna be what it appears to be right now. Um, Carrie, I do too, mine's all still up and I don't know when I'll get to it. So these are little, let me hold it back here. They're little eggs and they have feet and they have little ears, okay? They look a little, the light's glaring on them, but they're little rabbit faces and stuff. So we are going to do something to this, but let me show you another option. If you have these in your stash, they also have feet, okay? It stands on its own like this. So that's kind of the important part. Three inches of snow in Ohio. Goodness gracious gosh. And I'm complaining because it was like 50 degrees this morning. <clears throat> okay, so this is what I'm gonna use. But I'm also going to do, like I said, a couple of different ways. Um, if you have these, this craft bottle, this will work. Um, if you have this, a peel bottle, this will work. Um, you put your Easter white, I 
Y'all are better than me. I hadn't gotten it done yet. Um, okay. So, that's what we're going to do. And we are going to make the little pot head gnomes with the, with the little hats and the pots. I've been wanting to do these. I keep seeing people doing them. And that's what I want to do. So, I have these guys. This is where the idea started from was these. And then have these and these are, are have already been this was this okay i need to let me turn this light down a little bit i don't think i hit it too many t enough times to make the light there we go to see if it is so glaring tonight i don't know why 32 degrees here oh my goodness okay so this he's just been painted white and he's been glued shut okay so he won't come apart that's what he looked like Okay, and then I'm going to do this to this one while we're sitting here chatting. Hey, Nina, I'm doing good. Um, you leave your Easter up through April. That's a good idea, Debbie. That's probably going to be my mantra because um, <clears throat> I don't know when I'll get to take it down. <laughs> oh, Lindy must be on. Hey, Lindy. Okay, so I'm going to put... I'm just going to put a little dot of hot glue and hopefully my glue gun's heated up enough because I just plugged it in. And I'm just going to glue it shut. Yes, okay. So we're going to sit here and let this, let this glue shut, which is not, oh, we help if I got it straight. Not super, super important, but I don't want it coming apart. So we're going to sit here and chat and I'm going to paint these little, this little, um, with glue strings, <laughs> this little bunny. And see, he's got feet, so he stands on his own, okay? So, what else I'm going to use while I'm talking about it is going to be like this, okay? But I've got to do something to this. See, he worked. Uh, the bunny eggs came from Dollar Tree. Hey, Shirley. Um, so, this is what my idea is. I've seen a lot of people doing them different ways. But I thought these were perfect because they just stand on their own. Um, ew, okay, so I've got to do something to this because it kind of pokes out right here. So let's see what, I, what can happen. Let's see what we're going to do. Hey, is it Elisa? I'm doing good. My back's, my back's actually doing, doing good. So I went today for my... Six, uh, six month checkup on my biopsy that I had back in October. And I was like, oh my goodness, it's been six months already. And so that all came out good. That was really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna get to painting and I'm going to chat and paint and chat and paint <laughs> or try to. Okay, so I wanted to do this before um, you had put up your Easter stuff and Dollar Tree probably still has these. I saw them today in um, the Dollar Tree I went into over by my doctor's office in Germantown. And I saw them. So I was like, oh, they still have them out. So maybe they still have them at your Dollar Tree. Hey, Stella. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Linda. Y'all are so sweet to hop on. So I'm just going to give this a coat. Like I said, this one has already been coated a couple of times which we're gonna cover most of it up. So I'm not too, too concerned about it. So I'm just gonna at least do the part that's gonna show. Well, some of it will show. His feet, and then we're gonna cover, we're gonna color over his feet. And so I'll probably end up putting these on my tear tray. It's been cold and rainy. Yeah, it's, it's been, it was chilly here today. It was our little, what we call our little Easter cold snap that we get. So, it's, it's been chilly the last couple of days. All right. So, let me dry this. Yes, I'm glad I got a good report, too. I was, I wasn't worried about it. <clears throat> but, you know, you always have that in the back of your mind. And you kind of worry. But I did get to go to the Big Dollar Tree today. <laughs> Which, I, I showed y'all pictures of what I saw that was new. They had tons of boxes, and they were putting out all the patriotic stuff. 
Yes, Kay, I'm sorry. This is Waverly, what's left of my Waverly uh, white chalk paint. And I'm just covering over just because it covers so well. Um, hey, Jerry. Um, anyhow, but they, they were putting out the summer, all the foot flops and the lays and all the beachy stuff, but they didn't have any of that coastal decor. They didn't have any of that yet. But they, um, they were putting out all the patriotic stuff. Snowing in Pittsburgh. Oh my word. Word. That just makes me cringe. I just can't even imagine it snowing in April, which it has snowed here in April before. But so, um, anywho, so I did get to go there today and went to my doctor's appointment, fought all the crazy traffic. It was crazy traffic today. I guess maybe because school's out still. And everybody was out and about, and I was like, oh my word, it ran over. People zigzagging that crazy on the interstate, and I, <laughs> I just can't handle it. Oh gosh, makes me a nervous wreck. Uh, thank you, Terry. Ever since I had that little mishap when I was up at Lindy's um, and had that little crash, it kind of makes me nervous. Driving and people acting, driving crazy and stuff. Mm -mm, can't handle it. Okay, so this guy's already painted. So I'm going to start working on him. And I have another one too. But I wanted to give you an example. Um, and I may end up doing more than one. Because we can do it out of a jar, one of these little craft jars. They put these out all for all the seasons. So if you have any of these, you can do it. If you have a jar... Any kind of thing, and they, you know, the pots come bigger too. But these are the, uh, I feel like I'm all over the place. But they, these are the Dollar Tree little peat pots. They're small, and then these are the ones I get like at Dollar General and Walmart, or the three inch. So I know y'all are gonna ask me what size they are, so y'all can get some. But these are Dollar Tree, and they come. I'll just read the label. Doesn't say. There's 12 in this pack, but it doesn't say how big they are. Doesn't say. But that's Dollar Tree. Okay. They are... Where is my inches? About two... They're two and a quarter wide. Okay. And then this is... My ruler just bit the dust. Anyway, and this is three. So, you can find a jar like... I have this jar here. You can make a big one like this with the bigger ones if you can't find the Dollar Tree. So, you know, use your imagination. <clears throat> um, no, the, the accident in my back, it didn't have anything to do with one or the other. No. That didn't have anything to do with each other. All right, so let me see what I want to do now. Partial, I saw somebody having a partial mastectomy, bless their heart. Um, yeah, our kids are on Easter break. We get, um, our kids get Friday, Easter Friday, and then Easter Monday off around here. Now, I don't know about in Memphis where I was today, but, um, but see these little plastic bottles? I may end up doing that little Mod Podge tissue paper thing to it. Um, Terry... They got a lot of boxes out in the aisles, and they are um, putting, trying to put stuff out, changing of the season. But, like, I, I, put, I posted pictures today of some of the new stuff I saw. They had those cool hooks, and they had, um, which I stood there and contemplating on getting those, me they're metal hooks. They're really nice to try to make something with them, and I couldn't just come up with something, so I didn't get the hooks, and I'm probably going to have buyer's regret. But, hey, Debbie, good evening. Pet he, yes. You can use a clay pot. Um, I actually have the little ones from Dollar Tree. Um, they are kind of big for these eggs, but it fits perfectly on this jar. But it's straight up and down. And then you could still, you could still use it if you wanted to for the clay ones. These are the, the clay ones that come from Dollar Tree. They, you know, they have the small and they have the big. This is the small. Um, so I tried to get everything out <clears throat> that I could possibly think of that y'all could do this with. <laughs> so, um, 
Okay, so I've got this one painted. This one was the pink one, like this. And then I cut his ear. So the little hat, so his little hat's going to go on. So his little hat's going to fit right. <coughs> Don't go, it's a trap. And y'all, I did, I did run in Hobby Lobby today because I wanted to see their Easter stuff. Like, if they had it marked way down. No. It was 50% off today. I was like, it's, it's not Easter anymore. Okay, Terry, we will. We'll get to, we'll do that one day. We sure will. Um, I gotta fix this spot. I don't know what happened. Um, but I was really shocked that they didn't have it more than 50%. Because it's not even Easter. Oh, Judy, yes, we will be definitely be praying for you. I'm so sorry. What am I making? Gayla, I am making... I've had this on my list since spring started that I want to make the little... The little pot head gnomes with the pots. Um, and you can do it with... The little um, pot, real pots, if you want to. And I may end up doing this one before it's all over with, after I do these. But I gotta paint their feet. <clears throat> I'm making the little gnomes with the pots on their heads. So I'm just gonna take some black. This is just regular. I buy the big bottles now because the little bottles of black and white don't go very far for me anymore. Um, I'm gonna paint their, his little feet. I'm gonna, I'll start with these, so that's kind of curing a little bit. So, like, his little feet are funny looking, okay? Because you can see, like, his little arms and his carrot, all that stuff. So, we are, I'm definitely gonna, um, not have his little legs and all, but I'm just, that was a blob of paint. So, I'm just kind of painting what looks like a little, his little shoe. Because, in all actuality, you're probably not gonna be able to see it because I'm gonna, the beard's gonna cover it up. But I want to have some little feet there, just in case you do see his little shoes or whatever you want to call it, his gnome feet. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to paint them black like that and hope that you can't see the little toes. Oh, well, see, our Hobby Lobby down here, when you're saying they hardly had any left, uh, we have one here close to me, and they sell out of all their stuff. Like Christmas, any kind of holiday, they sell out of everything, like right before. And then, you know, they start gathering up and getting it on a smaller aisle. Well, the one I went to today in Germantown, uh, Tennessee, up there in where my appointment was today, they had aisles of it left, y'all. And I was so shocked because they had a lot left. And I was like, oh my goodness, because ours is like, the other day when I was in there, they had it down to like an aisle, one side of an aisle. Okay, so there's this little black feet. <clears throat> and I've got glue string or something on my paintbrush. I don't know what's happening. Okay, so I'm just, so see, he's got little toes. I don't know if y'all can, let's see if I can get it right with the light. Okay, see his toes, but I'm not real worried about it, his rabbit toes, because, um... The beard is going to cover up a lot of that. So you're just going to see little black shoes, hopefully. <laughs> That's what my mind says. I'm, this, I'm not, um, I'm not, uh, hadn't thought that part out a lot, but <laughs> I just don't want his little toe look like rabbit toes. <laughs> He's going to have rabbit toes on my gnome. <laughs> but I think the beard's going to cover up a lot of that. Okay. So, oh, okay. I'm just reading comments. So, if y'all had a good Monday today, I hope so. I was also thinking, sitting here thinking too, I've got to paint his body some type of color or something. See, Tina, that's what I said too. I thought, well, maybe there's not a lot of DIY or people, but this is like in the decor you know, the Easter decor stuff. And I was like, wow, I couldn't believe they had that much left. And it was only 50%. And I was just way shocked. Okay, so let's dry. Oh, Lord, he's, he's making footprints all over my paper. 
Yeah, he's been run he's in his bare feet. <laughs> and his feet have turned black. So I'm gonna try to dry this really quick and then I've gotta paint his body. But I got all messy too, so it's all up on his but you can't tell it from here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Brenda, thank you. I'm really I'm really not. cord just fell. Uh, Donna and making little um, gnomes. They're little, those little pot, pot gnomes with their pots as their hats. I've had them on my list and I've been wanting to make them and I just haven't gotten to it and so today's the day. <laughs> I just painted the tips of his little feet but he's gonna have a little tail in the back. <laughs> he's gonna have a little rabbit tail. But oh well, it'll be okay. Buyer, somebody said something. Buyer's remorse, yes. All right, thank y'all for the hearts. Y'all are so sweet. Uh-oh. I just pulled my cord out of my light. Hold on. Let me turn my light back on. Don't know how that happened. Okay, come back on. Turn my light back on so y'all can see what's happening. There. Gee, I don't, don't ask me how I did that because I don't even know. I couldn't try to do it. If I, I couldn't do it if I tried. Oh, it's bright. <laughs> I didn't turn it down. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Okay, turn it down. Okay. Lord, I don't know what, how I managed to do that. Okay. <laughs> It's going to catch up with y'all in a minute. Y'all going to start laughing at me. Is there such a big glob of paint right there that will not dry? <laughs> I know, right, Jeannie? That's what I think, too. But that's what people are calling them. And, um... <clears throat> okay. So, I got their toes all dry, I think. So... Now I've got to figure out, this is the part I don't like, because I don't know what their hats are going to be, how I'm going to fix their hats, so I kind of have to, so here's what they look like, if y'all can see them, and so they're going to have little hats, where are they, um, they're going to have these little peat pots hats, and I love these, I love peat pots, because they're basically, cardboard and you know they're made to kind of break down with your seeds when you plant them they're basically like cardboard paper like egg cartons is kind of what they remind me of and you can just paint and do all kinds of stuff to them and I love them okay so here's what they're gonna look like so now I've got to figure out <clears throat> what I'm gonna do to their bodies Cause I know I've got embellishments over here, so I know I'm gonna. I want to do a ladybug one. Is this gonna be? Let's try this. It's called Country Red. Hey Becky, I am making these little gnomes with pots as their hats. <laughs> the tail could be the center of a flower. I could paint on his. Yes, that would be so cute. Okay, this is just deco art, and I just picked red out of this basket of paint that I have up here that I was doing something else with, and it's called um, Country Red, but uh, because I found out something, I think I may have told y'all this at one point, so this is deco art Americana, okay, and I'm trying to get ready for my dotting workshop and all that stuff, and I have recently found out that... Um, the, their deco arts paints are, some are opaque and some of them are transparent, okay? Which means that opaque means that you can't see through it, okay? So when you paint it, it's going to be um, where you, it's not as see-through, okay? And so doing this dotting class, red and yellow, y'all know, if you've done any kind of crafting and painting, red and yellow are hard to get to be to where you can, can't see through it. 
um, especially if you paint on black. And I do a lot of painting on black dot, dotting. And I've been practicing a lot because I'm real rusty. And y'all have been asking me to do this, um, to do this workshop thing with the dotting. And I've been practicing. So they have a chart online on Deco Art that will tell you if their paints are, which paints are opaque and which are transparent or semi-opaque, I think too. Um, I can't remember, but it's, it's buried in their website. But if you Google um, uh, Deco Art paint opacity chart, you'll find it. Um, but anyway, so I, ha I had that chart and I was in Hobby Lobby trying to find a red paint that is not transparent, which this one is supposed, this country red is supposed to be opaque because it doesn't, I just wish it told you on the bottle and it does not, but they have, it goes by the number of the paint. It has a number there and that's how their paints are listed on their website. Okay, so this is going to be a red one. I want to do a ladybug. Um... Oh, Noreen, you had the tools and didn't even know it. Awesome. So, this is going to be my red. We're going to do a ladybug because I have the little... Whoop, just spilt ladybugs on my table. I have the little ladybugs from Hobby Lobby. And I want to put one of those on his little hat and fix his little hat up really cute. Um, and then, I want to do... Y'all know I'm going to do a B one. <laughs> to go with my little B stuff I got going on back here. Uses the plastic bottles, different size until she makes perfect. Vicky, I have, and that's the thing about <clears throat> this dotting class that I'm gonna do. There's so much information that I want to be able to, you know, give to y'all. I almost said that word, um, and it's it's a it's a lot. You can you can you can dive off down deep into it. So, this is just a yellow. I just picked one. And it's this is folk art, and it's called Podge Yellow, but it's just a basic yellow. So, I just grabbed it out of my basket over here. Paint between the legs. Uh-oh. Down there. Uh, his beard's going to cover it up, so I ain't worried about that. <laughs> if, it, if don't, I'll go back and do it. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm just doing some yellow. And, oh, it's a pretty yellow, too. I know that on the camera, it looks really bright because because of the light but it's really pretty i'm painting his little his, he's got a little tail <laughs> no debbie they have it um i've just been um swamped down with everything I've, I've you know i feel like i got a lot going on but just with my back i'm just not able to do as much um but i trust me i'm getting close um you'll know because i'm gonna um I'll tell you over and over and over um, about it, but it's just because I'm trying to, I'm trying to practice first and foremost, because like I said, it's, it's kind of, it's something like, uh, I haven't done it in a while, like seriously in a while. And I have to, I want to be pr practiced up before I offer it to you. Um, so that's kind of why. Ooh. That's kind of why it's been a while, plus my back and all that. But I promise you, I am working on it. So, I've already got the little group formed. Tina, it's going to be like a $10 group because this is going to be a class where it's going to be like a month or more. Okay? So, it's not going to be just one class. It'll be like four or five different or maybe more than that sessions of this because it... Like I said, you can get off into it as deep as you want to get into it. Does that make sense? Um, that's a pretty yellow. It's like, it covered it really well. I have, if I hold it way up here, y'all can't. We don't see it there. See, then you can see his little details <laughs> up close. See, he's not painted perfect, so don't think I'm painting him perfect. He looks like lemon yellow. Yes, yeah, called Podge, Podge Yellow. I don't know. But it's folk art, podge yellow. But I just picked a yellow. Like I said, I have a whole basket of paint up here because I've been dotting and doing stuff with them. 
and um, I um, just chose it out of the basket. I have a big basket of paint. Okay, so this one, I think I'm just going to do... I'm going to do just a... a um, trying to see what I'll have over here. Um, just like a pastel color. But some people have already done these in the group. Oh, what's the problem with my back? I had back surgery two weeks ago today, actually. So, yeah, I had a little back surgery, but I'm all good. I'm still recovering, but I'm good. Make the tail a stinger of the bee. That's hilarious. <laughs> dotting. Stacy. Stacy? Say it. Who asked that? What is dotting? Stacy. Dotting is this. You see all those little dots of light, maybe? Um, this is uh, dot art or ma dot mandalas. This is like a terracotta saucer. That. See, they're really small and they get all the way big. But see, there's there's dots and then there's dots on top of dots. <laughs> um, then it's, but it, it takes practice. I'm not going to lie to you what all that is see this one says has my initials and it has 18 so it's been a while since I've done this but that one I did in 2018 but see this is just a little canvas and then this is just a little wood scrap circle that I've been practicing on see the light does weird stuff when I get too close but see those are all dots um those are itty bitty dots <laughs> Um, let's see. These are those gems, those glass gems. Oop. And that's basically reverse because you're having to put it on and you're really, you're looking at it from the front instead of the side you put it on. Um, that's dotting. Let's see. Uh, the light. There it goes. So these are some I've done recently. Um, uh, Let's see. I'm trying to get it towards the light. There it goes. That's dotting. And there's just all different kinds of techniques. Um, here's a rock that I did. There's You can do rocks. You can do whatever, you know, any kind of surface. Hey, Susan. Anyway, um, there's all different kinds of dotting tools. Um, if y'all want to hang out when I get done and I'll show y'all what it is, what they are. But you can use really anything you can use the pencil erasers you can use um toothpicks uh the heads of nails there's so much you can do um we'll get a little white because i don't like how dark that is um anything you you know you want to do to dot with if you want to just start in the beginning and that's that's kind of what i'm going to teach in the in thing in the class is that different things you can dot with and not have to do the tools and to see if you're going to like it first before you invest in whatever. But you can invest in um, tools that are, you know, on up there, just like paintbrushes. You can get inexpensive paintbrushes or you can get, um, you know, it, you know, expensive paintbrushes. It's kind of like that. Um, but you don't have to have expensive tools to do like what I just showed you. So that's kind of what I'm going to show you, teach you and all the different things. And we're going to learn about the different paints and because your paint consistency has a lot to do with it too. So we're going to learn about that. Just lots of different things. So there's going to, it's going to be a lot of information and, but it's going to be fun because it's dots, right? Polka dots are all fun. Okay, I painted him between his legs. I got it on his shoe. All right. I guess I should have already painted a couple of these before I went live, but I was out and about today. Okay, I wanted this like a lighter blue. It's turquoise, but it's light. Let me see if I can get the light to show it. Okay. I don't know what is going on with my light tonight. It mysteriously unplugged itself. Amanda's daughter. Yes. She do, I know Amanda's daughter does some, but I've ne I haven't I haven't caught when she does it. I haven't seen her do it. 
Hey, Colin. If he's, it looks like he's on here. So Elizabeth's telling him. See that yellow is pretty. And I may tone that down a little bit. Yes, Penny says she's cut different size dowels down. I'm going to tell you all about that. Um, just give you some, you know, I like to give you options. Oh, we're making a Lee bug. <laughs> that's funny. But it's, you know, I just don't want to be like, okay, here it is. You make dots and that's it. I, you know, I kind of want to, it to be a little educational too in the process. So you're going to get a lot of information and it's going to be several weeks of us getting together in a group and doing it. Um, because it's not something that you master in one day. And different surfaces that you can dot on and, you know, the list goes on and on. So, y'all are sweet saying hey to Colin. Okay, so there's my little turquoise one. I kind of wanted to do a pastel. All right. He's not painted perfectly, but he's okay. This yellow is like, is like real yellow. So I think, ooh, that, that, tooth, that toothbrush. Y'all almost called that a toothbrush. I'm going crazy. I'm gonna try to tone this down just a, just a smidge. Whew. It is bright. And of course I'm getting some turquoise in my white, but it'd be okay. But this paintbrush is stiff. I'm gonna tone it down just a hair because it's like woo. It's a lot more more lot bright brighter than I wanted it to be. So I'm just gonna hit it with some white chalk paint that I have left over here. That's got a little turquoise in it, so it may end up being a little green. No, Danielle, I'm not gonna have it's there won't be a, any kind of limit like that because it's gonna be all virtual and I don't send anything to you. It'll just be me teaching you and showing you um, different techniques and paints and all the things that I know that I've learned just from doing it. So that's all it, it'll be. But it'll be fun and we'll be a little group and it's going to be fun. Because it, it has come a long way. <clears throat> oh, hey, Renee. Welcome back. You found me again. You lost me. <laughs> all right. That looks better. Ooh, he was he was yellow. <laughs> he was way too yellow. Let's see if I can get right there. A lot of that's not going to show by his feet, so I'm not too worried about it. But I am going to cover up where I dotted on his foot. Happy Monday evening, Kathy. These are plastic uh, eggs from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just recycling them after Easter, basically. Plymouth, Indiana. Welcome. Is it Maddie? Maddie. Welcome, Maddie, from Plymouth, Indiana. Oh. Oh, cool, Lynn. Did you? I have to go look for it. All right. The news. One, two, three, four, five paintbrushes in this one project. And I'm like, oh, my Lord. We ain't done, ain't done yet. Okay. So, here's my little guys. They all look like little Easter eggs. Ladybug. And then my little just pastel color one and this is going to be my he's going to be my b one so now we got to pick out their i got to do their beards oh lord that was not good to do that i got paint on my table you never saw them at your dt oh my goodness well they have eggs that have flat bottoms let me see this one was at walmart 98 cents and you could definitely do that with it because it's got a flat bottom and it has a flat bottom here, but you could do it like this. Big pot. You could do, you could use this. Um, I just like to show you different ways, but um, you don't have to use the eggs either. You can use these little craft jars. Um, you can use a little pill bottle. They work fine. Let's see. But you could, you know, it's going to fit straight on it like this. So you can do this. Um, so I try to give you different options that you have instead of, Oh, well, I can't find that exact thing. So, you know, I can't do it. So, do, um, do, uh, I try to give you different options, okay? All right, so now, let's do their beards. Because this is the part, this is the ha hairy part, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to have hair flying around. 
I think I'm gonna do, this is the remnants of my fur. I'm gonna do the B one. I think I'm gonna do this color fur. And then I'm gonna do white for the other two. Cause that's all I have is, I have pink, but I didn't think pink would go with any of these. But it might go with that one, but I've already put it up. But so I got remnants, look at my remnants of white. And then I have this, this uh, whatever color this is, brown. So, if you take the lids off, they'll come. Yeah, you can take the lids off the off the jar off the pill bottles or the jars, and you could get it to come down, and, and you could tilt it like that. Yes, thank you for that point. I forgot, I didn't see who it was. So you could definitely do that with pill bottles, um, or the little jars, whatever you want to do. Yes, Teresa said it too. Can you take the top off? So y'all help me out. Okay, so also I want to show you this. Do you remember these little hats we did with the toilet paper roll? And we, this one's got stuffing in it. Let me take the stuffing out. I had to dig this out of my little stash. But the hats we made, uh, not this Christmas, but Christmas before. You could do them with hats like this for the wintertime. Um, like we did before. You could use those hats. Hope they find who stole your... Oh, somebody stole somebody's package. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so if y'all have ever cut this fur, which you probably have if you've been crafting and you like gnomes. Um, see, the fur the fur goes down. I almost said it grows down. <laughs> it ain't growing anywhere. <laughs> anyway, it goes down. So you can only cut, you know, you have to cut your fur like this on the piece going down. So you can't turn it and do all this stuff because you want it to be laying down on the front of him okay so we're gonna have to come over here and find let's see so you have to cut the back of the fur let's go you want to cut the back part you don't want to cut um on the fabric part you want to cut the back you don't want to cut the front because you'll cut the hair Hey, Mandy, there's Mandy with Western Grace Home and Decor. All my crafty friends are coming on. Okay, so you go on the back of your fat of the fur, the fabric part. Let me look at it one more time. I'm just kind of measuring where I want to be. And so basically, you just take your X Acto knife and you just run it along that fabric and cut it. Let's see. And I'm going to cut mine wider than I think I need it because every time I do this, I always cut it way too short. <laughs> and y'all know my mantra, if, you know, you can always take it off, but you can't add back. Okay, so I know y'all are thinking, what in the world is she doing? She is making some kind of crazy critters. Okay, crazy critters, uh, but they're going to be cute. They are in my mind anyway. So I'm going to show you the piece once I get it cut, what it looks like. Because it's not very big for him at all. But I cut it wide because I don't want it. I can always take some off. Come on. Okay. And I hate not being able to see y'all's comments. Now, I'm missing comments. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Okay. All right. So, it pulls apart. And then you're going to have all this. I don't know if y'all can see that, but... It flies and goes everywhere. All right. So, my piece is not big at all. But, it really doesn't need to be. I guess I should have seen how far the hat was going to come down, right? That would have probably been a smart thing to do. All right. So, see, it's going to look like this. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of don't have a lot of hair on this side, but there's a lot of hair on this side. He's gonna have to have a beard trimming. Okay, so that's what I want it to look like, but you are gonna see his shoes. <laughs> okay, so I guess I need to leave his little hat on there for a minute so I can see where I need to put my fur. All right, let me get that there. And I'm just gonna put some Hey, Sherry from Oregon. 
I'm gonna put some glue right across here. And then I'm just gonna put my fur. Lord, okay, right there. And this stuff sheds and I'll be coughing and all kinds of stuff in a minute because hair is flying everywhere. It just like floats in the air. It's not even, it's not even uh, so lightweight. It just floats around like dust. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give him a little, cause it is kind of, ooh, I got happy there. Okay, I'm just trying to, I'm not a beautician, but all right. Y'all get the gist of it. I kind of gave him a terrible haircut. I gaffed it. Okay. But when he sits down, he's going to kind of look like this. He's going to look like that. So you're not really going to see it. Okay. So there's his deal. Now I'm going to take his hat off and we're going to fix his hat after I get all these. Do y'all see this hair? It looks like a, looks like I shaved a cat. Oh. Um. <laughs> all right. So there's that one. Now I'm going to do this one and we're going to do the ladybug one. Oh, I know, Peggy. I'm trying not to breathe it in. I just do a lot of talking and not a lot of breathing, right? Okay. <clears throat> so, let me see here. He's the same. So, I think I'm going to... So, like I said, I cut on the back of the fabric part. I'm not cutting on the front where the fur is because you'll just have a chopped off... You'll know, you'll see, if, if you do it, you'll see and you'll go, oh no, that's not good. <laughs> He'll look like he's got a little mullet. <laughs> He'll have a little mullet. Thank you, Sally, I am. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna cut it from there to there. So let me go ahead and do that. It's probably gonna be way too long. But that one was short, so I'm trying to do this one longer. Okay. Oop. Let me do this. Kind of no, but... All right. So, so I just kind of go at the sides. I just kind of cut this way. Not necessarily um, straight down, but I angle it in a little bit. You know, beard shape, like a triangle, sort of. This is not the best X-Acto blade. There was, but it's doing the job. Let's see, hey Roxanne from Springfield. Thank you, Stacy. I appreciate that. Where did I get the fur? Hobby Lobby. Um, they have it in the felt. I got it in where the felt is. So it comes in a little pack like this. I did have this out to show y'all. But you get this big piece for $3.49. It is nine by 12 inch piece like this. So that's that's where it's in Hobby Lobby over where the felt is hanging. Mine's hanging up on the, up high above the felt and stuff. But you can buy it on the bolt. But goodness gracious. <laughs> Y'all, this is Zacto knife. Okay. So you just basically kind of pull it apart your little cut your little threads on this fabric part and I hate that I'm not getting to see oh thank you Tracy you see all the comments I'm sorry having to work at this one okay so here's my so I just kind of pull all this off up front up the top but there's what it looks like on the back nothing attractive just a triangle and then I do this Cherie, I know, I need a, a box cutter would work probably great. All right, so this is what it's going to look like. He's got a long, he's got a long beard. <laughs> so he's going to sit down, he's going to do, he's going to be crazy. Okay, I'm not going to trim it. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Let's see. So I'm going to put my glue and glue my beard on. But these little guys are going to be so cute. Hey, Penny from Jasper, Texas. Walmart has it on the bolt. My Walmart, I don't think they have the fur, but um, I don't have, my Walmart here is not a real big Walmart. <laughs> Look how long it is. It's like, but I can pull some of it off. See how it just, do y'all see? I don't know if y'all can see it against my shirt, but it's just like flying in the air. Um, 
Anyway, so there he is. Okay, so now I gotta do one more. I should have used that one as a pattern. I use scissors. How do you use scissors, Darlene? Without cutting the front side. I, mm -mm, I don't know if I could do that. Let's see, I'm gonna freehand this one just because it's right next to the one I just cut. So I can kind of see how far down. And that wide, that wide. I had to look to see if I had the blade going the right way. You can make sure you're only cutting the fabric and not the fur. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do with my, I'm just using my little X-Acto blade. Um, but yeah, a box cutter would be probably good. One of those little cheapy ones. ZZ Top, no, I'm surely, yes, right. I'm gonna have the whole band. I just need a little bitty guitar. Looks like your house, Kaylee. <laughs> okay, I think that's wide enough. So I'm just gonna, so basically you're just cutting a triangle, but you need to make sure you got it wide enough, long enough, all that stuff. The first one I did, he was kind of a little short, but it'll be okay. They're all gonna be different. Ooh. That one, that one's kind of, I made his long. Hold on. This blade is not getting the job done. All right. Okay, so there's my, I don't know if y'all can see, it looks like it's just snowing. That's the only thing I don't like about the fur, but after you get most of it off, Let's just blow it over there somewhere. <laughs> it quit shedding after that. But there's my little fur. Y'all. Okay. Can you imagine the factory where they make this stuff? Oh my gosh. It would just be, it would be like a hairdresser. It would be all over you and everybody else, everything you had. Okay. So he's a little different because he's that different bunny. So let's see. Put his beard right here. I'm gonna glue the hat on not too, just yet. Okay, so there he is. That's what you cut scissors. I say, y'all gonna need to teach me the scissors trick because I would cut the fur on the front. So there he is. I don't know if y'all can't see. So his hat's gonna be covering up those ears so he's not gonna be a bunny anymore. He's gonna be a cute ladybug. See, so he's gonna be sitting down. Okay, so just for just for time's sake, just because we're on here talking about this fur, I'm gonna use a piece of this because it's this this way, and I'm gonna show you what it would look like if we cut it with scissors. So your your beard would look like this. You know, it would just be straight across the bottom. Um, and that's what you don't want. So that's why you only want to cut the back. Whew. Okay. Done with fur. It'll we'll be like the hairdresser and I'm just going to blow everything off with the hair dryer. Look. Cannot handle it. Okay. Whew. Lord. Help me. Ugh. Okay. Y'all, it's stuck to my... Look at my glue gun. <laughs> okay. Now you're all like, well, she just get on with it. <laughs> I got fire flying. Okay. So now let's do up their hats. I'm basically a strawberry gnome. Jerry, I know. I'm kind of obsessed with strawberries, y'all. So strawberry stuff's probably coming y'all's way. Look, that's a stiff paintbrush too. I need to get some cleaner. I told y'all, I got a hairball. All right, so I'm basically on this little hat. This is the, we're gonna do, this is the ladybug one, okay? I don't wanna cover all this up, so I'm basically just going to get a little paint on my brush, and I just want to do a hint of red, because I want the, the pot, I guess is a lack of a better word, to show up a little bit. I don't want it to be all red. 
So I kind of want it like that, like a little, just a hint. I just like the texture. Can y'all see how it makes the texture? I'm just kind of painting on the surface and I'm not getting that paint into, into it. So see, I'm not getting it all the way into the cardboard or whatever it's made of. All right, I just want it to be a hint of red. And you have a Husky too. Hair conditioner, softest paintbrush. Oh, Kim, I need to try that. But this one has seen its days, I promise you. It has been through some stuff. <laughs> a lot of my paintbrushes are well loved. Okay, so that's all I want to do. I don't want it to be just um, blaring red. And I'm going to do the same to the yellow, but I need some white. Oh, I got 45 paintbrushes out here. <laughs> like this one, look at this one. It has been very well loved. It has hair on it too. And I'm gonna do my yellow hat. Hey, Marsha. Murphy's also. Linda, I have seen that and I need to, I need to try that. Murphy's also. So I'm getting my little white and I'm toning it down just a little, my yellow. I'm, I'm just kinda, I don't want it that blaring, like you know how to fix his body. So I'm just gonna kinda, whoo, that will be the back. Oh, it looks super cool though. If y'all watch videos I did, um, I don't think it was last spring, I think it was 2000, and I did a bean on, and I did, uh, a, I did a honeycomb, a little bee, bee ski, or whatever it's called, not a honeycomb, and I used one of these pots, and I rolled it in, um, Poppy paper, you know, the little bubble dot, the bubble wrap paper, and it looks like honeycombs. You're, oh, good. So, Susan, I'm glad that your paintbrushes look um, look like mine because, uh, no, my paintbrushes are, I leave them in the water. I do all kinds of stuff. Am I, please tell me I'm not the only one that does that. 22, did I say 2,000? I meant 2020 is what I meant. <laughs> oh, you picked up. Oh, I didn't. I haven't seen those napkins yet. All right, I'm going to go around the edge. Okay, so here's this little. I'm about out of paint on my plate. So here's my little hat. Okay, there's one hat. So we're going to make them all cute too. All right, yellow. And then now for this hat, he, this, y'all can, yeah, okay. The blue. No, I'm gonna do this real pretty baby pink. It's called Poodle Skirt Pink. This is like my new obsession favorite color of deco art. Your brushes look like mine. Okay, Lori, so I'm not alone. We're in the, the Ruffly Brush um, group. Now this is a newer brush, look at it. Ooh, it's all shiny new. And that other one was the same brand and it was all nasty, but look at it. Look at it, it's hardly ever been used. Shiny, pretty bristles with no paint in it. It won't look like that for long. <laughs> so, all right, so let me get some paint off my brush. This is so, this little pink is like so pretty. But see how, what I'm saying where it doesn't, I'm not painting all the way into this pot, which is the cardboard. So you're still kind of seeing that texture and I love that. That's what I like about these pots. See what I'm talking about? It kind of does its own thing. So I'm not really pushing the paint into it. It's just on the outside. So it looks really, really cool. What brand of paintbrush? Rhonda, I have all different kinds. My favorite are for the five below paintbrushes. Um, but none of the, I don't think any of these are five below. This is a Walmart, I believe. Um, Crafter's Choice something, Walmart. But I just get them. Oh, somebody said I'm OCD. I have to clean them when I'm done. Well, that's my intention. And like when I get off like here tonight, I have the intention, I promise, of cleaning my paintbrushes. And then I usually, you know, turn everything off, make sure everything's off. And then it's gone out the window. And then I go inside. And then in the morning, I'll walk out here and go, oh, my paintbrushes are still in the water. Okay, 
All right, so look how cute this is. See how it looks? I just love how it just gives it that, I don't know, it's not perfect. It just kind of gives it that vintage-y look and feel. All right, look how many paint brushes I've used. And look at the water. It looks like, <laughs> and I have a bad habit of not getting the paint out of the brushes. But, okay. But I'm not, I'm not going to leave it in there tonight, I promise. <laughs> All right, so here's my little guys. We got their hats, and we got to finish their, fix their hats. Um, never found those brushes at any five below. I know, Susie, and they're changing them now. They don't have the sets like they used to. Like, I think this is, this says plaid, but I don't have any idea where I got it. Um, this is a, I think that's a Dollar Tree one. I don't even know. I just pick up brushes wherever, um... Like the first day of school, new crayons. That was my favorite, Jennifer. And I love the way crayons smell. If y'all must know anything about me that's weird, I love the way crayons smell. All right, so let's... I gotta get some black. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all some dotting stuff since y'all are... We might have make dots on our ladybug hat. All right, now they have dotting tools, but before there were dotting tools, that's how long I've been doing this, I use these crochet hooks, okay, because they are flat on the bottom, okay? You can still see all the paint on the, yeah, I need to clean them too. But they're just acrylic and they're flat. This was before there ever was paint and tools. So let's, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you a little bit how you do it. So I'm just dipping it in my paint and then I just, you go straight down and you dot and it makes, perfect little dot and you can use the the other you know the underside of your um t uh, paintbrush and this isn't the best surface to dot on because it's real textured so they're not going to look as pretty as i would s do it if i was um doing it on something like i showed you earlier let's see So see, I'm just putting little dots on my little ladybug. I made a project with Weekend with the Dots. Oh, Tammy, did you? I, I love doing it because it's it's just kind of relaxing. And except when you make a mistake and then you get mad and yeah, all that. But, <laughs> but some mistakes can be fixed. Not a big deal. Oh, and Play-Doh. Somebody just said, oh, and they love cray uh, crayons and Play-Doh. Yes. I like that smell too. I know it's weird. People think it's weird. And you put a written notice on Facebook. Yes, Terry, I will be, and I'll send out a text. I mean, you're gonna, probably going to get sick of hearing about it because <laughs> I don't want anybody to miss out because I know it's something that y'all will have been asking for. Um, it's just something I did a long time ago, and I'm trying to use all this paint. And I do it a little bit in my crafting, kind of like this. But, you know, doing this is a whole nother level. <laughs> And it's fun. And then you're so proud of stuff. Okay, so there's my dotted little pot. And I gotta have a paper towel. Sorry. They took all the good stuff out of the play- They took all the stuff out of Play-Doh. What? It don't smell like that anymore? Crowns stink when they get old. Lori, I like the way they smell when they've been in a box by themselves, like, for a long time. I like that smell, that waxy smell. <laughs> and she's like, oh, gosh, girl. Okay. So the pink, I think I'm going to leave alone, but I think I'm going to put maybe something, let's put something pretty on it, like some ribbon. So this is, this is Dollar Tree ribbon, I believe. I think it was. It's like plaid. So I think I'm going to put this around the rim of my little hat. All right, where's the front going to be? Okay, this is going to be the back because it's got like a little place on it. Minty paste, smell, and taste. What? What is that? What are y'all talking about? Are y'all eating paste while I'm gone? While I'm working over here and y'all are over here talking about eating paste? Oh, Lori, you don't like the way they smell. I do. She threw them away. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, yeah, that's Dollar Tree Easter ribbon. Thank you. Sonia, yes, I think y'all think that. But see, it threw me off because of that sticker. So I was kind of thinking, 
Maybe it was from Michael's or somewhere, but. So I'm gonna run this ribbon around his, the top of his hat. Cause I think it ties in that, well, and the other glue just, it just stuck down on its own. So I don't even need that. Okay. All right, so that's that little, my little hat. But we're gonna put some little stuff on there. See, look how adorable this is going to be. Can't stand it. Look at that. I love that pink and that blue. <laughs> Your granddaughter cannot stand the smell of Play-Doh. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Laura. My, um, my mom would let us play with Play-Doh, but we had to, like, do it in the kitchen, on the table, because, you know, we get, it gets hard when it dries, and there's little bitty pieces, and they would get in the carpet, and I can just remember her, you know, saying, oh, gosh, you know, you gotta, don't get that in the carpet. Uh-oh. I don't know why it's a big deal. Okay, so these are my little sp split balls, split beads, whatever they're called, and that's gonna be our little nose. So, hold on, let me find the center. Okay. There's his center. I gotta find his feet down there and make sure I'm putting it where it needs to be <laughs> and not crooked. Ooh. What's the body made of? Faith, they are um, recycled. This one is like this little egg from Dollar Tree. And I thought it was perfect for a body of a gnome because it stands up on its own. It's got like flat feet and ears. And so like I saw some of these today at a Dollar Tree. So I thought maybe they might, y'all might have them still or you either bought some. But um, so I used, I used that. This one is pink and he had like a little ear. And so I, I took some cutters and I cut his ear off. I cut part of his ear off so it fit. Now, this is the one I kind of gave a little haircut to, and he kind of looks like he's, I don't know. <laughs> Look at his beard. <laughs> Y'all, I cut his beard. I, I whacked it off. Look at it. Hold on. <laughs> don't let me cut your hair, okay? I'm not, a, not a beautician. All right, get your hat on. I guess I should go ahead and glue their hats on, but it doesn't look like they're going anywhere. Funny, we used to do that too. It's like putting Elmer's glue. Oh yeah, putting Elmer's glue on the palm of your hands and letting it dry and peel off. I don't know why that was funny. I don't know why we thought that was so cool, but I guess it just feels kind of neat. And All right, so I'm putting my little... <laughs> Look at his beard. I cut it. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's see. The B one, I've got... Think. I've got this crazy B fabric and it came in. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, but we're going to see. It came in um, like a little bundle from Joann's that I got that was a B, a little B bundle. And I'm going to try to cut. Just a little skinny piece and I'm going to glue it along his hat, I think. I may not. I may look at it and go, eh, I don't know about that. So I'm just cutting. I'm not even tearing it. Can y'all believe it? I'm cutting the fabric. All right. That's probably way more than I need, but oh well. Cut it off. If I don't need it. <clears throat> that was like a sinister laugh. Okay, where's the front of his hat going to be? This one. They kind of all look like they have this like little little knot right here like this one did so I put it in the back so I don't know I don't know what that's what that's about maybe that's part of the mold they use so I'm trying to figure out the best spot for the back and the front all right so let's glue this on but you can use some lace and ribbon whatever you want to use to go around your little hats you don't even have to put anything around the little rim I just Kind of wanted to do that and make it uh, kind of cute. But then it, at the same time, it kind of doesn't look like a pot anymore. But, see? That light is so crazy. There we go. 
All right, so that's where his little hat's gonna go, but we're gonna do some stuff to him. Look how cute. And I've got this hat. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do anything to this hat. I don't know, should I leave it like that? Kinda looks like watermelon seeds. <laughs> Black stripes, ooh, that would look really cool. Use the back side of the fabric. Oh yeah, that looks kind of cool. Hold on. Good thing about these pots is they're paper and I can just take that right off and it leaves a spot, but I took it off. I know, I love this fabric. Make it, yes, we are, Karen. Look, see? And they're little, um, they were this to start with. <laughs> Watermelons, yeah, we're gonna put ladybugs. leave him like that y'all I think I'm gonna leave this off or maybe maybe I should put some at the top like that I don't know I think I'm gonna leave it off I'm gonna leave it off we're gonna leave it off all right oh here we're gonna do this little guy since I put dots on him what's going on with that since I put dots on him I think I might leave him like that Anemic. They're talking about being anemic. And I didn't even, I didn't glue their hats on yet, but I don't think they're going anywhere. But I guess I need to. I'm kind of to look to see where the middle is. So I'm kind of going, okay, it goes up here. And my black is not dry. And I'm getting black paint all over me. Twine on the right. Oh, Stacey, I could use twine. Like some jute. That would look super cute. Okay. I'm drying this black paint because I'm getting it all on my fingers. And that's another thing about dot painting is the waiting for the dots to dry. Because uh, you don't want to do the heat because your paint can crack. And then you've messed up your dots on um, like when you're doing it on something else. So yeah, it's, I use a little fan. Okay. It, it is Penny how you put that nose on it and it just brings it to life. It's so funny um, how you put that. Let me turn that around. Yeah. You put the nose on and it just makes it a whole nother, a whole nother thing. Okay. So I think I'm going to leave him like that. And of course, I have other, I have stuff to put on him. Like I got Rick Rack. Um, I, w I thought about I could put Rick Rack around his little hat. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave it off. Cause I think, okay, the ladybugs came from Hobby Lobby in the spring section and they were $2.99. And there'll be all the ladybugs that I'll probably ever need in my crafting lifetime because there are 50 ladybugs <laughs> and I don't think I need that many. Um, okay, so let's see, I'm gonna put, let's put one, I think I better hot glue these little, let me hot glue his hat on before I, before I get to decorating it all up and put his hat on. So I'm just running some hot glue in there and then we're gonna, see he's got ears under there but he doesn't anymore. Okay, so there he is, his hat's on. But the little ladybugs have these little stickers on the back and I'm gonna take it off and put some hot glue because it'll hold it better. Black ribbon, pussy rose. Oh yeah, that would look cute, but I don't have any out here. But that would look super cute though. I should have thought about that. So I'm gonna put a ladybug right there. Look how stinking adorable that is. And let's put, I wanna put one in his beard. Black ribbon on the rim, yes. I could even paint it black. Um, I wanna put one, I wanna put one like right there. <laughs> That's the thing is when you, they look kind of plain, but when you start dressing them up and putting little things on them and ribbon and flowers and whatever, then that's what kind of brings them to life in my opinion. Um, <laughs> I love it. Okay. 
So let's see. Um, I got these at um, Hobby Lobby also, and they are little mini daisies. I couldn't turn the daisies down. Give him Dilly Bobs. Oh, I know what you're saying. You mean the little antennas? <gasps> Yo, why did I not think of that? I could poke a hole in the top, and I could totally make him some antennas. And I could, I'm trying to see if I can stick that down in there. Because it's got this little thing on the back, you know, the little plastic piece. That little thing. And I'm probably just going to stick it. Okay, let's put that here. Put a little daisy there. Yes, he needs antennas. I'm trying to see where my, my pipe cleaners are. Totally needs antennas coming out of the top. Look at it. Look at the little daisy. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. See, he don't have that one doesn't have a tail, but I'll go back probably and put dots on his back. I just don't want to sit here and wait for him to dry because you're not gonna see it. Look how stinking cute that is. Alright, let's see. I have woo, daisies going everywhere. Trying to see. I got this stuff. Don't I don't even know where I got it, to be honest. Um, it is like this massive ball of stuff of this vine looking stuff. And I think I'm gonna cut a little, let's see, let's cut that. And I'm gonna cut a piece. I just kind of went through like a lot of my stuff and embellishments and stuff so see i'm gonna put that like there on his little hat look how cute i see water buffalo hats and the flintstones <laughs> yes those big old yes and it had spots because it was uh the fur so i'm gonna put this little green vine looking stuff i don't even know where i got it and how long i've had it um but look look how stinking cute it is Look. Um, I may. What if I put this around his hat? What if I put that? What if I put that around his hat? Like that. Hold on. Like his hat. Just paint a stripe around his hat. A vine mustache. Look how stinking cute that is. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, hey, Marilyn. We're making these little pot gnomes out of these little peat pots and these little eggs recycled from Easter. Look at y'all. Do y'all see that hair? I'm going to have this fur all over <laughs> forever, but that's what we started with. But you could totally use, uh, this is like a large pill bottle. Um, you could totally do this or you could use a little jar, take the lid off maybe, somebody said. And you can make bigger ones like that. Oh, wait. Or use these pots. See? But you'd have to put something heavy in here to keep it from tumping over because these are heavy. The vine is so cute. Y'all think I should put the vine on there? It's so cute. <clears throat> it's so cute. <laughs> Have the ladybug... On the, I can put another one on there. Let me put another one on there. I'll just do the sticky stuff and see if we like it. Yes. Look how cute. But see, that's what makes them cute. I know y'all thought in the beginning, she is crazy. And this is not going to be a cute craft, but I'm thinking that it's really cute. Okay, I like, everybody likes the vine, so we're going to go with it doing it I don't even like I said I don't even know where this came from do y'all have any of this fine looking stuff look I, I, I couldn't tell you somebody probably gave it to me there's no telling but I have a bunch of it <laughs> So, if y'all have any of this vine, y'all please tell me where it came from or you got it. Okay, look at the vine. Look at it. 
Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. I love it. Isn't he cute? See, you don't even really see his feet. But he's got rabbit toes under there. <laughs> we just won't tell anybody. You can't tell. So cute. The, no bug on the flower, but the vine on the pot. Okay. So no bug. Maybe I might put... I might put another flower. Should I put another flower? Or no? Needs black on the rim. Okay, so Gina says that she got hers from Hobby Lobby. And Jean says she got her from Hobby Lobby. And Paula says she has hers from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so Hobby Lobby must have this. <laughs> mm. Nancy said something like this in the wedding section. Uh, like I said, I don't even know how I got it, where I got it. I've had it for a very long time. Oh, Carol says she got some at Walmart. So if you need some vine, they said Hobby Lobby or maybe Walmart. That's okay, Jane. You're fine. So, do y'all think it needs another daisy or, or one's enough? Oh, Amazon, Sherry said. Okay. Linda said Amazon. Another flower is cute. Okay. So, maybe I should put one over here. Too much with the other flower. No, onto the second flower. Okay. Maybe I should put it. Maybe I should. I don't know. Okay, so we'll think on that one. Since everybody's saying no, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all know I might just uh, kind of stare at it for a while and see. So I'm going to put it right there. All right. So now let's do, we got to do this this one too. I got, um, I got ribbon on it. Let's see, what do I have? What do I have? Over here, I have these little flowers. Oh, well, I'm throwing them at y'all. <laughs> these little flowers, they're pink, but the pot is pink. Um, I have blue ones, but they're like a blue blue. Let's see. Maybe, I know I got stuff sitting over here somewhere. Y'all got, I get so much stuff out, it's crazy. Oh, y'all got these at Dollar Tree. Some just fell on the floor. They're cherry blossoms, and these are so pretty. Look at them. They are so pretty. What if I put... Oh, yeah, Charlene, I'll get the... I'll have to do the pipe cleaners. I surely will. Okay, let me glue his hat on, and y'all tell me what I should put on this one. Let's put some glue in his hat. I just have fun with stuff like this because where's the back okay because I mean you can just sit here and do all kinds of stuff hey Diane just sit here and add stuff and add stuff and add stuff and make them look so so cute um ZZ top when you look at the yellow one <laughs> and I got a lady a loose ladybug over here I don't even know <laughs> The eggs, okay, the, they came from Dollar Tree. So they look like this. And then these, the, um, this guy, he came from, uh, in a pack, and there was like four in here at one time. And I cut the tip of his ear off because it kind of sticks out, and it makes the pot kind of not fit right. So that's what these are. But, as I said before, you, and these are the Dollar Tree, <clears throat> fur covered uh peat pots but you could like this is a large like pill bottle but you could find you a container that it works with and you can do the exact same thing you know it just sits um or you can use these little jars they have from dollar tree that's a real pot from dollar tree there's i mean the possibilities are endless you just find you a container or something to recycle <laughs> jenny said that's on glasses to this one <laughs> He's going to get bees. Okay. So, pink. <laughs> Y'all got me tickled over that. Okay. So, should I add maybe some cherry blossoms? Elton John. <laughs> We're going to name them all. We're going to have Elton John. We're going to have ZZ Top. No, it's too much. So, don't put anything on him. Just leave him the way he is. Or does he need a daisy, too? Where's that daisy that fell off a minute ago? 
Or does he need a daisy? <clears throat> I love them too. I think they're just so cute. Just they're just fun. You know, it's just it just have to have some fun sometimes. Or should I put um um a little daisy on there? See? Sunglasses. <laughs> Y'all are going to make me go away from the B theme and go to ZZ Top. <laughs> Dear, now, now, now. He needs a guitar, though. <laughs> Pink glasses. Oh, Y'all, I don't even have any glasses. Y'all want to make me make glasses. Cherry blossoms. What do the blue flu... Okay, the blue flowers. Oh, I have some of these little flowers, too. Those are from... That's from Michael's. Those little flowers I have. I thought I had some flowers. Oh, I have these. That's probably too pink peachy for that. Yes, a daisy and a pink flower. I like, I don't know. Cherry blossom. These cherry blossoms are so pretty, though. I mean, I was just really amazed at how pretty they were. But I need that leaf. I want the leaf. Oh, here's one with a leaf. Okay, so let's put, I'll try to cut that off. The blue flower, see they're just really blue. They're like real bright. And then I think it's going to be too blue. He does look like ZZ Top. <laughs> it was cracking me up with a ZZ Top. Uh, what I cover the pots with? I painted them with chalk paint. They started out like that, and then I painted the painted them with chalk paint. To start with, but the hats, um, they're just these little peat pots, and then I just kind of dry brushed paint over them, and they look like this. So that's what um, they look like. I should have made a girl one. And y'all are gonna say, yeah, you need a girl one now. I'm going to have a whole village. Oh, a blue flower out of the package. Okay, let's see. I may can pull one of those out and put next to this. I thought I had a blue flower out here that I pulled off of something. And that's what I'm hunting. Okay, stay on, stay on. See, I like it with the little leaf. I think it's really cute with the leaf. Um, Turquoise paper blue flower. can make like a little um, arrangement but with that ribbon the bright blue looks okay all right well I got little blue ones in here these are like little paper flowers and there's a couple in here that are the same that same light blue color so I may try to use that and maybe a darker blue here we go and I can tie it together Oh, there's a purple. Oh, I see a purple. Purple, purple. I'm going to put a purple one. A lavender. And that's going to bring out that ribbon. So, I got blue, pink, and purple. These are like little... These things will last me a long time, too, because there's a jillion in there. Okay. So, see, they're little. And I'm going to put it, like, up here on the hat beside the little cherry blossom. Let's see. Let's put this one here. I got a blue one. I'm trying to stick that in that hat. There we go. And then I'll put that purple one right here. Like a little, like a little um, cluster of flowers. Okay. Look. See? Ain't it cute? <laughs> Love the flower. Do you have butterfly buttons? No, I don't, but that would be so cute. You Put bright. Yeah, Cherie, that's the thing. I'd have to make braid. I'd have to braid some kind of rope or something. Look how sweet. See, it's blue. And then that ribbon's got that lavender and a darker blue and then the pink. So, I kind of tied it all together. And then I like the green, the little leaf sticking out. There's hair everywhere. But look how cute. Okay, we got to work on ZZ Top. So, now we've got uh, the ladybug, the dots, and the daisies. And then we're gonna do um, 
ZZ Top. But y'all want me to leave him alone totally and just make him into a rock star, right? <laughs> and not even put bees on him. All right, I think I got these at Michael's because I love the daisies. I think I'm going to go a different, a whole different route with this. Let's see. I think, I think I'm going to put a hole because yeah, they don't have a hole in them. But I think I'm going to put a hole in the top. Don't y'all. I can always cover that hole up with something if I decide not to do it. And I'm going to put these little daisies coming out of his hat. And get them to act right. His hat is not glued on yet, but like this. <laughs> now he doesn't look like a rock star. He's got daisies coming out of his hat. Sharp dress gnome. That's right, Nancy. I know. I think you love the ladybug. Isn't it so cute? Humblebees. <laughs> Debbie said. A ton of them. I know, Peggy. I could just sit here and make like four or five more and have a whole little village and they all take over. Um, but <laughs> I think that is super cute. Let's see. Hold on. I need, those leaves are way too big for what I want. Um, mm, I'm just pulling stems and cutting stuff off and that's all. This was something from, I think this is from Joann's, but I'm just pulling little pieces and I'm going to stick this down in here too. He, he's not a rock star. Y'all gonna be mad. <laughs> he's not a sharp dressed man anymore. He's got daisies. <laughs> cousin Ophelia from the Adams family. <laughs> it does look like cousin it, that hair. And then I gave him a bad beard cut. The body, Angela, is these these little eggs from Dollar Tree. See, there's the tail. He has a tail. <laughs> so this is what it was. And this is what it, I'm making it to be. And his hat's not glued yet. <laughs> which I've got to do that. Okay. So I'm just kind of sticking this green stuff down in there too. Because I don't want just the daisies. Okay. But it's looking super cute. And then I'm going to put bees on him. Uh, I just like to... Make, whoop, I just pulled that one right out. I just like to make these little characters and it's just fun. Just to have fun and not be serious all the time and just to have something silly and like these little guys behind me and stuff. I just love them. I just think it's fun to have little, um, little characters. And <clears throat> you know, I give them all names and crazy things like that. Y'all know I do all that stuff. Okay, all right, so there's his little daisies and his little greenery that's poking all out. <laughs> I better glue his hat on before I get too carried away. Okay, so let me put some glue. But I did glue the eggs together before I started just so the eggs won't come apart, you know, because sometimes they just, they will just pop apart real easy. He needs black stripes. I'm going to make these for Mother's Day. Yes, they'd be so cute. Or May Day, they'd be cute too. And put flowers coming out of all their hats and they'd be so stinking cute. Ah! Y'all, my greenery won't stay. You know what? I'm going to make it stay. I bet it stays now. A little hot glue in there. It's going to stay. Hey, I just think it's so cute. Okay, so everybody's saying black stripes. I just don't want the black to be so just blah in your face. Um, that's my only, only why I don't want to do that. How do you make a girl gnome? You just put braids, like instead of a beard, she would just have 
like on each side she would have braids coming out of the you know here and then here cactus gnomes oh angela i need to see what that is only thing is, is i don't know if i can make a straight i know i can't <laughs> i make a straight um put a daisy on his tail <laughs> don't dare me because y'all know i'll do it look Let's see. Let me get one that matches. That's the same kind, off the same stem. Just do thin stripes, no black stripes. See, I'm really worried that I can't make them straight and they're gonna look like this going around his hat. That's my problem, is that I'm scared they're gonna look wavy. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm going to put some bees on there. Let me get my bees. Here they are. Now, these came from Amazon, but I know Hobby Lobby had them in the spring section. Braid yarn for pigtails. Yes. Just do it your own way. Okay, so they're little bees, just like the ladybugs, but they do have them at um, Hobby Lobby in the spring section, and then uh, they do have them. I got these bees from Amazon, and then... They have buttons, I think. These came maybe from Hobby Lobby, but they have these bees from uh, Hobby Lobby. So I know Walmart has bees, uh, stuff like that. So I know you can get bees or black ribbon. Let's see. Oh, I just had an idea. I just had an idea. Um, I'm going to put that bee right there on his little brim. I just had a epiphany. All right, if I can make it happen, I'm going to cut, I'm gonna try and cut a little honeycomb shape. Twine glue. Ooh, that would look good, Stacy, with the, um, cut, do this jute black. I'm trying to make me a little um, octagon patch, but now or hexagon is it a hex? It's a hexagon. Let's see. Cutting it freehand is a lot harder than it looks. Oof, that's not too bad, but it's the honeycomb. Let's see if I can get it out of that light. See, it's not too bad, and I'll put it here. I'm going to glue it right on the front so you kind of know it's got a little honeycomb. Black buffalo. Oh, black buffalo check would look really good. So let's see if I can do it one more time. I'm probably sticking my tongue out. I'm sorry. <laughs> when I concentrate, I'll stick my tongue out. Not bad. It's tiny, but it's not bad. Looks like a hexagon. So I'm gonna stick it over here. So it kind of looks like a. He's got little honeycomb things. Piece of wire sticking out of the hat and glue a B to it. Watch that wire. I got wire over here. Here we go. Here we go. Look at here ask and you shall receive. See, I would do the ladybug um, antennas out of this, but I want them to be kind of bigger. So I want to do my, um, I want to do my antenna for my ladybug. I want to do them out of uh, uh, chenille stem. So they'll be, you can see them better. Okay. So I just cut a piece like this. And let's do this. Need some black on the rim. Okay, I'm gonna see what I can do. All right, so I just wrapped around my paintbrush and I have this little spring looking thing. Glad somebody said that. Hey, Carrie, I'm doing good. What did I use for the hat? Margie, they are little, these little seed starter pots. These are the Dollar Tree ones. They're little, 
I said they're two and a quarter wide. Um, this is what I made their hats out of. But you can get them at Walmart, and they're bigger. They're three inches in comparison to these. Or these are three and a half. I don't really know. Yeah, this one's covered in fur. Um, anyway, and so you can do either one. And if you use the bigger hats, you know, you can use a regular jar like this. However, you know, just find something that you can use as your base to make your um, gnome. So there's other ways you can do it too without having to use what I used. Hey, Judy. I was just trying to um, use something, recycle something that I had in my Easter stash. Um, all right, so let's poke. I'll poke this down in my little cardboard. But I agree, it needs something else, and I just can't figure out what. Black, it needs something. Sunglasses. <laughs> I need some black sunglasses. Thank you, Judy. Yes, that's my um, my texting number there that Judy just put up. If you want to uh, do join my texting to know when I go live, you can do that. I got to get my sign back up there, up on the shelf or something up there. Um, but you can text join to that number, or you can also go to uh, www.textlee, L-E-I-G-H, and it'll, do, it'll take you to the same thing. Um, <clears throat> All right, so there's my little bee with glue strings. See him? Let's see. Let me get him to where he's flying that way. He's on a little, the little spring. I don't know if you can see it, but he's po poking out that way. Okay, so what else does it need? It needs something else, and I just don't know what it is. Uh, where's black Sharpie? Yes, Tammy, you can definitely use the medicine balls. And I have a good bit from, since I had surgery. But they work, too. They work, too. But I've, I've got another craft coming that I'm going to do with these because I have a good many of them. Um, so, medicine bottles, I got something coming I'm going to do with those. Outline a few in black. I think I'm going to outline, roughly outline my little honeycombs with these Sharpies. And give it just a little bit. Just kind of, like I said, these are paper, basically. All right, so that looks a little better. But it needs something else. Black stripes around his belly. Around this way, his back. Yeah, he definitely needs something. But I don't know what it is. I just can't. A pipe cleaner wrapped around. I just cannot glue a daisy on his tail. <laughs> I know y'all can't see for the light, but there it is. His day, his daisy is there. The light just does weird stuff, but there it is. <laughs> um, Michelle used two pots for the body. Well, that would be cool. So you could do it like this. Like that. I don't know what you're saying. Okay, maybe like this. You could do it, I don't know, like that. B wings. Oh, that would be cute. Just trying to think. He needs something on his hat, but I just cannot. Black around the rim. Like if I kind of. Roughly did his. Um... It's there now. It's not coming off. <laughs> so I hope we like it. kind of doing it Is that better give him wings yes he needs wings but I don't know what to make wings out of I'd have to think about that black stripes on his hat all right so I'm doing the rim I'm just kind of basically just kind of scrubbing my little sharpie around because I don't want to color it solid okay how about that that looks better see Just enough to know that it's kind of black. Look at him. <laughs> He's got stuff coming out of his hat. Paint black lightly around the rim. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Instead of paint, I'm just doing a Sharpie. It works just as good. And dries instant. Look at it. How cute. 
What y'all think about that? That better black wire wings. I know I need to figure out some kind of wings. I need to think pipe cleaner wings. I may have to, that's gonna have to be a, a thinking project. Cookie tray, cookie tray. Oh, the metal cookie, uh, Dollar Tree cookie tray, yes. Um, hey, Lynn, it's good to see you here. Make some glasses. <laughs> you don't have any eyes. Sunglasses. Y'all are killing me with the glasses. Okay. So, I'm definitely going to put antennas on him. But, I just got to get my, to my pipe cleaners. Y'all, I just love him. And then, this guy, I'm going to have to think about wings. I'm going to have to, I probably can like cut some cardboard and make some wings. I'm going to have to think about this. Pearlescent tissue paper wings. Oh, look at Karen's getting all fancy with the pearlescent chiffon. <laughs> look at Cindy, chiffon. I'm going to cut one of these and see. Took it apart, so we're gonna see. see. Y'all got my brain going now, you can tell, right? Burlap for the wings. just playing so we may not use this but we're going to see okay what if what if I painted them white can y'all see his wings? Y'all got me going now. <laughs> now I gotta clean off a paintbrush because I don't know if I have, yes I do. White Mod Podge fabric to stiffen it. Well, y'all got me going now. Gotta figure something out. Get a little yellow. Where's my yellow? Black screen you use for potato buggins. Oh, yeah, that would be good. If black screen. Hold on. Get some yellow out here. And some white. Just like his hat. Pipe cleaner wings with lace. Yes, lace. It'd be really pretty. Okay. that kind of thick but now I gotta do this side kind of thick and make it look the same <laughs> and this might not look good but I may have to think about it and do something else if this doesn't look right there's I know it looks ugly oh <laughs> come on Karma are you gonna start the the no Yes, they're so cute. Oh, black felt and make my wings. That would be really cute. I was just trying to do something in a pinch to see what I could do with this uh, cardboard looking stuff. Material and stiffen it with Mod Podge, yes. What if I did his wings out of that material with the, the honeybee things? He needs a honey dipper. Okay, all right, so I did that. No, it doesn't look pretty. I'm just trying to do something in a pinch. There's his wings. <laughs> oh, Stacy said diamond dust his wings. He looks cute with wings. Trim them with black. Trim it with black. 
from it with blood. I better leave that paintbrush out. Diamond dust. Honeycomb napkins. Yeah, I have that fabric, too. I could do that. A honey spoon. I have a bead that looks like a um, the little honeycomb bead. I got one of those over here. The little honeycomb. Looks like a honeycomb. A honeycomb. Uh, oh, a bee skeet. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's see. Got me some wings. They're not they're not the prettiest wings, but it's a start. Cover the cardboard with the honey. Yes, the honeycomb material. That would be really pretty. I'm going to have to see. But I cut them upside down because I had them the other way. And I know y'all can't see, but they are trimmed in black. But I made the part bigger because I was going to do them this way. I guess I still could. They look better. Now, <laughs> he's got wings. I may have to um, think about how I'm going to do his wings. There. It's cute. See? Diamond dust and honeycomb. Oh, black lace. That'd be pretty, too. In a few, Yeah, great idea in a few minutes' time. That's right. I was just trying to do something in a pinch. I just love this. This is what I love about him. But I have this. It's the bee that looks like a bee skeep. But he doesn't have any hands, and I'm not really sure. Or should I just put it on his little hat and make it look like a little bee? A little bee skeep up there on his little... On his little thing. Diamond dust wings. Yes, my diamond dust is up there. I'll have to get it out and do something a, a little bit later. Okay, let me make this little, the little hole that go, the bees go in, the entrance to the bee skeep or whatever it's called. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I think I'm going to glue it on his hat. I'm gonna glue it on his hat. Glue gun, my cord keeps getting hung on something. I don't know what's going on down here. All right. Cute. Let me hold that there. Diamond dust. Yeah, y'all are all about the diamond dust. Yeah, beehive, bee skeep, beehive, skeep, S K E P, I think. I don't know. Okay, there it is. Look at it. So cute. I know y'all can't see for the light, but I just stuck it up on his head. <laughs> yeah, it's big for his nose. It would stick way out because it's kind of a big, big bead. But look at it. Isn't that cute with his little, that little bee right there? I could have put that bee coming out of there, but anyway, I may have to put a um, small bee on his nose or his beard. Okay, he's got, there's one on the, on the brim of his, um, hat. So let's see. Okay, I put one on the bee thing. The bee bead or whatever that is. Hey Cindy from New York. No wings, Linda said. He looks cute. He lost his tail. No, he's got his tail. He still has it. <laughs> but look how cute, y'all. I just can't. I'm gonna put antennas on this guy. When I get my pipe cleaners, they're in a box over there. I'm going to have to get pipe my antennas. And then I'm going to um, uh, get them out and do antennas. And I'll have to think about the wings. But does this one need something else or is it good? Y'all think it's good? Honey dripping from his hat. Yes. I'll have to get out my, my other glue gun that has those... Uh, that has these, you know, this is that card damp, that honey stuff. I'll have to um, get out my glue gun that has that in it. This looks so cute. See, look at his little patches. But I love this one. I don't think this one needs anything else. I think it's good. So cute. And then, um, y'all, I'm going to put antennas. Definitely antennas. But see the little feet? They're still pink on the bottom. I'll hold them back so y'all can see them. That light glares on that white. But look how stinking cute they are. 
daisies. Yes. Okay, I gotta move this because I'm gonna have paint everywhere. Can't wait to make them. So, like I said, if you don't have these eggs or Dollar Tree doesn't have them, because I saw them today because they had some left, but um, that's what the base was. Little eggs like this. Um, trying to think. You could use pill bottle or any, just any container that, can't get it apart. Any container that you can put that little cap on. Or you could use the real pots that they have from the Dollar Tree and these little craft bottles they have. Of course, I would probably put some rocks or something in here to weight it down because this is heavy. And that will fit on there just like that. And he would just they would just be a little taller, but they would work. Um, Deb, yes, that would be cool, like a pantyhose-like type thing. The bodies. Mary, the bodies were these little eggs that I was recycling from Easter. And I painted them. See, there's his little feet. And there's his little, he had a tail, a bunny tail. This one has a bunny tail too. <laughs> so that's, this is what they were. So they have little feet and everything. And then um, this one was a different kind. This, this kind of bunny from Dollar Tree. So he's got feet. And then here he is. That's what he was. And I clipped off his, his little ear because it stuck out. But um, but these come like this. There's a, Here's another color one. But, and Dollar Tree may have them left from Easter. But like I said, use a peel bottle or some kind of little container that you have that this will fit on. And then Walmart has these peat pots. And it'll go over just a regular jar and you would just have a big one and you could put treats or candy and you may could get it to where you could still work the top. Um, but they're so stinking cute and you can use real pots, but, and then you can find the plastic pots too. So just whatever you want to do. But I love these pots because they're so easy to paint and they're paper. If you mess it up, just throw it away and grab another one. Cause there's this little pack has 12 in it at the Dollar Tree. And just have fun with them. I mean, they're so cute. Yogurt containers, yes. And those little, uh, what's that yogurt called? The We, is it Q-U-I yogurt? Those would be so cute too. Those would probably be little short little gnomes, but it, these would probably fit on there. I know, I love the ladybug. Love the ladybug. <laughs> Wait till I get some antennas, y'all. We'll put antennas coming out. So cute. Oh, we've been on here for two hours, y'all. <laughs> Baby food jars, yes. So see, recycle whatever you have. Um, I'm trying to think of something else. Like Dollar Tree has these um, just peel bottles. And I got a craft coming with these because I've got a bunch of them. <laughs> um, the bearded material. Cindy, it comes from Hobby Lobby. Um, it comes like this. And it's... Three four three forty nine. It's by the felt, and it comes in this big sheet. And I'm sure Michaels and Joann's probably sells it too. And they have this color. Hobby Lobby has several colors, and they have this the ZZ Top color. <laughs> um, <laughs> you bought those, and your grandkids took them all home. Well, tell their their parents not to throw them away when they go cleaning out everything that you want them back. <laughs> I know, Jill, time flies when you're having fun. Greek yogurt, yes, that, uh, even the Yoplait containers, those little tall, those would probably work. Um, oh, BJ, thank you. Well, I've seen these little pot gnomes for a while, and I knew that these little eggs were perfect, and I meant to do it weeks ago, but you know, my back surgery kind of wee, yeah, that wee yogurt, Becky. Whatever, however you say that, Q-U-I yogurt. It comes in the little glass jars. White fluffy dusters. Oh, Angela, you could use the dusters. Only thing about the dusters is, is once you cut those things, that stuff sheds everywhere. Or you could use the chamois cloth. Um, K-cup, yes. Oh, yes, Judy, you could do a little umbrella. Oh, look, see, look, look at the fur. That came off when I held that up. It's like... I'm going to have to just blow the fur everywhere. Yes. 
That would be cute having a little umbrella. Oh, I gotta figure that out. <laughs> Y'all got so many ideas and I'm like, wings, umbrellas. <laughs> Y'all are so funny, but yes. I just like the simplicity and I love this baby pink. And uh, that just says spring to me. And then the bee with the flowers coming out. Um, well, Angela, it only sheds when you cut it. So, like the edges right here. But after you get all that off, it won't, it really won't shed anymore. So, it's not bad. Just when you cut the back material, and you have to go back and see. You don't cut it with scissors. You cut it, the back material, with an X-Acto knife or a, like a box cutter. Please post pictures. Yes, Alicia, I will. I'll post pictures. I usually always do. Usually it'll be tomorrow. Um, toothpick party umbrella. Oh, yes. I need some of those little uh, cocktail little umbrellas. That would be so cute. I gotta think, do I have any of those? I got fuzz in my mouth, y'all. Butterfly on the pink one. Yes. Okay. wonder if I can make one of our little butterflies tiny. Where's that butterfly? I'm turn around in my chair. I'm trying to think. I got this little one that, you know, the ones we made. It's kind of big, but it's cute. Look, that's a tiny one I made. Those are little bitty circles. Um, just a butterfly on the pink. I gotta figure that out. That's kind of big, but it's cute. The baby one. How I made those out of those, uh, like we did the flowers. <laughs> so cute. I don't need to twist. Remember to vote. Yes, y'all, please remember to go and do the DIY hero thing and vote. Uh, I went into second place today, and so we got to go back up because I think Thursday is when they cut off this round. And um, it's get we're getting close to the end. This is the quarterfinals, and then we go to the semifinals, I think. Swap the flower for the butterfly. Oh, right here. Take that off and put a butterfly. I'm going to see if I can't come up with a butterfly. Somehow, some way. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Christy, I could put a wire coming up and put a butterfly. I'll have to... Thinking about... Yes, Stacy. thank you. Now I will have to do the butterflies. Oh, cute earrings. Just photo. Thank you, Linda. What's that? I don't know what Cindy's saying. What's that? Yay, I get you every day. Thank you, Cindy. Um, Marilyn, it's it's a link on my page. You'll have to go right... If you tap my face, it'll show my... The Turquoise Valentine, and you click that. And then if you go to my main page and scroll down, you'll see where it says vote. Um, it's a post that I made, I think, maybe a day or two ago. And, um... Yeah, Sharon, I will, um, I'm not doing the mini group right now, but I'm going to restock the shop this week. I'm cutting a little bit. Um, so I got the cross and the spring gnomes. I'm going to release them again. Um, yeah, Judy said DIYHero.com. But if you go to my main page, you can go down and click on the link. Thank you, Tammy. There's Tammy right there. She just posted the link. So if you'll click that and you'll you can go vote. You're welcome, Stacy. Spray the fur with a little bit of hairspray. Ooh, Tiffany, I got some hairspray here in here too because I use it to keep the glitter coming off the glitter little branches and stuff at Christmas. I'll spray ha cheap hairspray on there. <laughs> baby food jar. That yeah, they would this would work with baby food jars. I bet this would fit. If not, you could find probably find a baby food. I don't know what kind of containers they come in nowadays. I haven't had a baby in a long time. Ooh, they have better... Ooh, Becky, I'm going to go to Amazon. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, so the, Tammy posted the link. So there it was. There it is again. She just posted it again. So I sure appreciate it. Um, Angel wings. Yes, I know. He needs wings. ZZ Top with wings. <laughs> Uh, no, Vicky, they will be later in the week. I'm kind of running a little behind because Saturday I wasn't feeling the greatest, so I didn't need to do anything Saturday. And, of course, yesterday was Easter. But, um, 
So I'm kind of running behind. It just depends on what my how my back's feeling and that kind of stuff. But here lately, I've just kind of been feeling a little achy feeling. And I don't know if my body's trying to fight something off or it's because I'm uh, tapering off some of the medicine they have me on. Uh, some of that nerve medicine. You're welcome, Sharon. I thank y'all for being here. Y'all are so sweet to come and join me. I appreciate y'all coming back every single time, and I love it. Thank you so much for voting for me, and I so appreciate it. I love each one of y'all, and I promise you, it doesn't go unnoticed. And I see y'all in the group, and you post all these crafts, and as much as I would love to comment on every single one of them, it's so hard. But I do see it, because I scroll through the group all the time, and I just, I love all your projects. Um, yay, June. Thank you. Thank y'all very much. Y'all are so sweet. And I appreciate y'all praying for my back and all that good stuff. Because I still have some bad days some days. Saturday wasn't a good day. Um, thank you, Peggy. And I can't wait to see y'all's little pot gnomes. I love it. I'm going to hop off and I'm going to go take my medicine and get in my jammies and go to bed shortly. Okay, Benita, I will do that. Yes, I will do that. I did not know that. So, oh, thank you, Robin. All right, guys, love y'all. Thank y'all for being here, and I will see y'all Thursday, okay? So, I'll be posting about the crosses and the gnomes, in, you know, when I restock them, so... Thank y'all very much. I'll see y'all Thursday. Bye, guys.